Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is episode number 10, which means 10 weeks of utter madness. Thank you very much for everyone's support to me. And also thanks very much for Eddie for coming up with the name. And also my girlfriend Laura for the support and giving me a fresh dream, which is good, finally. And I've come in this morning to a new little car. This is a Frisian heifer. So eventually, <laughs> Eventually one day I'm going to be milking this little car when she's a cow. She's going to be in a future herd, but for now all she's interested in is her bottle of milk. First of all I'm going to go and cross the cows over the road so they can graze throughout the day. Job 
off and taking all the tyres back off the clock, which I'm so excited for, so excited for. But at least second cut will be done. Unfortunately, the quality isn't as good as we'd hoped, but there's nothing we could have done about that because we can't change the weather. We're just going to have to hope for a better third cut to provide some good quality food for the cows in the winter. So my dad's got the grass fed out. Uh, I've got about half an hour until I need to go and fetch the cows up for this afternoon milking. So just enough time to go and check around the fields just to see how much grass there is available for the cows to eat. And it's a good opportunity for the dogs to have a little run around as they are absolutely oozing with energy that they need to burn off. Whenever I lose the dogs, I always know that they're gonna be waiting around the quad bike, which they're doing exactly that. We're ready to go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready, Luna? that the fields are starting to green over a bit. They were starting to get a little bit brown about two or three weeks ago, but they're starting to green up a little bit now. But as you can see, there's quite a lot of seed, seedy grass, which um, isn't the type of grass that we want to be feeding our cows. Because we always provide them young leafy grass, when the grass goes like this, they tend to be a bit picky. And we, we've made them fuss eaters. We've allowed them to be fuss eaters. What I think I'll have to start doing is topping the fields, which just takes the head off, and um, then we get some regrowth, and it freshens the fields up, and then the cows will eat it, which is what we want. You're knackered, mate. Go on then, get up. What about you, Luna? What about you? Luna, up, up. In other news, I've sold the bull, Pat, the Aberdeen Angus. He's now going. Believe it or not, I've sold him on Facebook. His services are now no longer required. Next destination is Wales. Isn't that right, lad? Oh, he's keen. He's keen to go to Wales. Okay, 
Okay everyone, I'd like to introduce you to our new bull. He's again another Aberdeen Angus. So this little man is called Eli. I don't actually come up with these names. They're just on his passport. They were uh, someone gave him the name, but definitely not me. He's two years old. He's walking away from me. You have to always be careful with new bulls because obviously you don't know what their characteristics are like just yet. But he seems to be calm enough. Initially he wasn't because he broke out the fence and made it onto the road. But he's calmed down a lot now. Now he realises he's down here in paradise with all these lovely ladies. Not a bad life I suppose. It's now the end of the day. I've just come down to the dry cows and the in-calf heifers just to check them before I leave for the weekend to make sure there's going to be nothing that's carving which uh, I'd expect there not to be because we're always checking them every day but one last check won't hurt it brings me to the end of this video I know it's been a short one it's been a bit of an odd week where there's not been much going on but next week is going to be super busy because hopefully the weather turns right we're going to be taking our second cut silage so hopefully I can film a little bit of that but again, like I say, it is a very busy time, so how much of it I can film, I don't know. But for now, I'm just gonna whiz the drone up in the air, fly it around, check on this stop, and um, yeah, hopefully you uh, enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and show your support. So thanks again for watching. Here we go, zoom. Up we go. Go up, 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 up.